Hey what's up everyone my name is Super Geek and today we're going to talk about the upcoming Android version from Google. Android 12 will bring some really nice features to the latest smartphones. These features has been leaked through some legit sources so there's no doubt that these features will appear in the final version. So let's start from the first feature, Google is going to make the Android runtime a mainline module in Android 12. Well you as a consumer may not notice this change but it gives Google more control over the updates on Android devices. With that said, the OEMs or the smartphone manufacturers will not be able to interfere with Google's update process. Google will release all the updates for the smartphone via the Google Play Store. Second feature is hibernation feature. What this feature will do is that it will suspend all such apps which you haven't used for a long period of time. So the OS will clear the cache of that app and stop all activities related to that app to run in the background. Not only this feature will clear storage on your phone but also give your phone a little more RAM to work with. Well, we don't know how this hibernation process will come in action, like if the OS alone is going to determine which app needs to be hibernated or the user can force hibernate certain apps. Next feature is restricted network mode. This feature can restrict any app in the background to access the network. Well, we don't know a lot about this feature, so I can't tell you what factors will restrict an app to access the network in the background. Next one, is an addition to the nearby sharing feature which is already available on the devices running Android 10 or above. In Android 12, the user will be able to share not only the files but also Wi-Fi passwords using this nearby sharing feature. This feature may come in handy in certain situations. Next one is about gaming. So Google is working on improving the controller rumble situation on Android 12. So what happens now is if you connect a PS controller to your phone, it won't vibrate as it should be when connected to the console. And while there are a lot of gaming streaming services now like Google Stadia, which lets you play console level games on your phone, this will be a nice little addition to Android 12. Now the last but not the least is the split screen situation on Android smartphone. So Google is planning to bring the app pair feature on Android 12 where you can define two apps as a pair. So if you launch that pair, both the apps will get launched in this split screen manner like we used to have on Samsung Note devices. Now you guys tell me which feature are you waiting for the most in the upcoming Android 12 update. Tell me in the comments and that's it for now guys hope you liked the video. Hit the like button get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.